and the third chapter, verse 8, and John 10, 27, and 28. And read first Samuel 3, 8, and the Lord called Samuel again the third time. And he arose and went to Eli and said, Here am I, for thou didst call me. And Eli perceived that the Lord had called the child. John 10, 27 and 28 say, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My message today is, hey, glory to God. Ten T's why we can't hear God's voice. Ten T's why we can't hear God's voice. This ten T's, my friend. And the number one reason we don't know the truth. Now, this is ten T's. We don't know the truth, so we can't hear the truth. Now, John 18, 37 say, Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest I am a king, and this end was I born. Of this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness on the truth, unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Number two, we don't know what or when we are tested. So to hear the truth, you got to know when you are tested. I go to God, Genesis 20, 22 verse 1 and it say and it came to pass after these things that God had test Abraham and sent to him Abraham and he said here behold here am I and the reason why this because Abraham had his son Isaac on the altar and he bought a slave son and he called out to Abraham and said Abraham here am I the reason why we can't hear God's voice because number one, we're not in truth. Number two, we don't know when we are testing. Number three, we don't know the difference between temptation and testing. Hey, glory to God. What I say, we don't know the difference between temptation and testing. Hey, glory to God. And also, number four, we can't hear because we we don't have, we are in a different temperature. We can't hear because we in a different temperature he go to God and a different temperature is he go to God you either hot or cold but lukewarm God said I'm a spit I'm a vomit you out of my mouth now switching the word of God now in Revelation the third chapter verse 15 and 16 and say that I know thy works that thou are neither cold nor hot I word you was cold nor hot so then because Though I'm lukewarm, neither cold nor I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. So you don't know the temperature you are. You, you, you don't know what side you're on. You don't know if you're hot or cold, but lukewarm. Lukewarm is a person that either hot or cold. It's time to make up your mind if you are a Christian or not. And glory to God. The fifth thing, when you are tried... You will receive the crown of life. Now, the reason why you're going to be tried because it's a crown coming. And the Bible said, Blessed the man that endure temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. So if you love God, he glory to God, you will be tried and receive the crown. Number 16, where is your trust? He glory to God. The Bible says, Some trust in chariots. And summon horses, which means transportation. But we remember the name of the Lord. That's hearing about God's voice. See, we can trust our transportation. We can trust our jets and our planes. Hey, go to God. But it's time to trust in the name of the Lord. Because no thing can fail. But Jesus Christ never failed. This song is I don't sing. He never failed me yet. God never failed. So when you put the word yet on it, you say that God going to fail someday or sometime. God never fail. We fail. But God never fail. Hey, look, number seven. We must turn our from our wicked ways. How you do that, preacher? In 2 Chronicles 7, 14, it says, If my people, 
which are called by my name shall humble, move pride, move deviness, and pray. Have a com have a conversation with, and seek, look for Jesus, face and turn, turn me, repent, turn me a hundred and eighty degree. Turn on me. You did it today and do it tomorrow. You do it tomorrow and did it. No, my friend, it means to turn a hundred and eighty degree turn from the wicked ways, and then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal the land. Why we can't hear God? Because, my friend, we must turn from wicked ways. Number eight, we must be thankful. Hey, and there was so many ungrateful people in my life. Read the book of Numbers. The book of Numbers talk about people that complain about the Lord. Complain. They wish it was in Egypt. Complain. Keep on complaining. And the Bible said, hey, glory to God. They're complaining. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill them because they complain. And Moses stood and said, Lord, don't kill them. So we must be thankful. Ezra 3, 11 say, with praise and thankfulness, they sang to the Lord. In Psalms 91, I will give thanks to the Lord. And with my heart, I will tell of all his wonderful deed. In Psalms 104, enter in this gate with thanksgiving. Don't come to church complaining. And with his court with praise, give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endure forever and forever. His faith endure through all generation. So it's time for you to be thankful, not just on Thanksgiving Day. Around a dead turkey. Number nine. We must be true to God completely. Yes, sir. He has to be true to God completely because God don't hear sinners. Yes, I said, God does not hear sinners. Why, preacher? Because in John chapter 9, 31, he say, Now we know that God heareth not sinner, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. So the flip side, if we, if we are a sinner, God can't hear you. But if you're doing his will and worship him, God will hear you. And the Bible says, if I nicotine in my heart, God would not hear. Hey, glory to God. Amen. I'm, I'm telling somebody right now, my friend, if you want God to hear you, give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't, don't procrastinate. Amen. Don't wait for your family member all dead and gone. You left and you want to say, Lord, forgive me and give your life to Jesus Christ. No, do it now. Because we don't know what tomorrow, the Bible says boast not for tomorrow, because we know not what tomorrow may bring. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Number 10th reason, hey, glory to God. We must be triumphantly in situation to hear the voice of God. The Bible says in James chapter 1, 2, and 3, say, My brethren, count all joy when it fall into divers temptation, knowing this. That the trying of your faith work in patience. Let patience have a perfect work entire wanting nothing. So why people don't hear God's voice? My friend, you got to you got to live right. Amen. You got to live right. You gotta be holy. You can't be on a holy and try to hear God's voice. God's voice is his word. And if you're in a situation, my friend, and you live right. God will send his word and bring you out of the situation. I'm a witness to that because God still speak to his people. Man, I speak audible like he spoke to. And the Bible say, some people hear thunder. But Paul say, hallelujah, who art thou? He said, I'm Jesus, whom thou persecute. It's hard to kick against the prick. But, but Paul said, who art thou, Jesus? Hey, glory to God. I'm telling you. It's time to hear God's voice. The Bible said, a word of I hid in my heart that I want sin against thee. So I'm telling you, if you study the word of God and, you, and if you're in trouble, God would send forth his word and bail you out of trouble. You should not be stressing. You should be worshiping. You should not be panicking. You should be praying. You should not be fighting. You should have faith. Hear God's voice. Like how Samuel, Samuel heard God's voice. And Eli knew 
that God was calling Samuel. And Samuel said, go lay back down. And when he come back to you, say, speak, Lord, your servant hear it thee. Why you can't hear God's voice? Because of wickedness. Because you're flip-flopping. You're still on the fence. You're still a fan rather than a follower. You're still lukewarm rather than hot or cold. Why people can't hear God's voice? Don't blame nobody but yourself. Hey, glory to God.